if a is equal to matrix 1 0 1 0 1 2 0 0 4 a 3 by 3 matrix then show that determinant of 3 times matrix a is equal to 27 times determinant of matrix a let's find the determinant of matrix a det a is equal to determinant of 1 0 1 0 1 2 0 0 4 and we know that determinant of a matrix a 3 by 3 matrix can be find by using any row or any column and I will choose the row or column where we have more number of zeros. So here I can see third row or first column with the more number of zero, two zeros are there. So I can consider only four. So that is last element four times off and its position can be taken minus one to the power of this is third row, third column. So we can write minus one to the power of three plus three into determinant of it's a sub matrix means by deleting its row and column deleting its row and column we have a sub matrix 1 0 0 1 so we can write that 1 0 0 1 which is equal to 4 times minus 1 to the power of 6 minus 1 to the power 6 into and here the determinant value is 1 into 1 minus 0 so we can give the answer 4 into minus 1 to the power of 6 is plus 1 into 110 0 minus 1 is 1. So we can say that its determinant is 4. And now let's consider 3 times or let us consider 27 times determinant A which is your RHS. Now RHS 27 times determinant of a which is equal to 27 into data value is 4 so 27 fours are 24 are 80 80 plus 28 is 108 and now let's find our lhs three times a and its determinant so let's find three times a let me write here 3 times the matrix A is equal to 3 into matrix 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 4. It's a scalar multiplication. So we have to multiply 3 to each and every element of the matrix. That is 3 into 1, 3, 3 into 0, 0, 3 into 1, 3, 3 into 0, 0, 3 into 1 is 3, 3 into 2 is 6, and 3 into 0, 0. 3 into 0, 0, 3 into 4 is 12. And now let's find its determinant. Three times A, that is determinant is equal to, so I can write directly here, determinant of 3, 0, 3, 0, 3, 6, 0, 0, 12. Again, we can use any row or any column to find the determinant. And here I choose third row or either first column also we can choose where we have more number of zeros. So let me consider the third row with the first two elements 0. Only the last element can be considered. So which is equal to 12 times and its position is again minus 1 to the power it's a 3 3 third row third column element so we can get minus 1 to the power 3 plus 3 into determinant of its sub matrix so sub matrix is here deleting this row and column we have 3 0 0 3 so 3 0 0 3 which is equal to 12 into minus 1 to the power of 6 is 1 into 3 3 is a 9. So we can give the answer as 12 9 zero. So 10 9 is a 90 plus 18 is 108. And here we can say that LHS 
value 108 and RHS value is 108. So we can conclude that we can say that twenty seven times or three times determinant A determinant of three A is equal to twenty seven times determinant of A. Or we can also remember as a property determinant of K A is equal to k to the power of n into determinant of a this is for verification we can check so determinant of k k is a scalar it's some real number and the matrix a order is n by n or order in we can write here n k to the power of n into determinant of a so here we can say since the a is the 3 by 3 determinant so determinant of 3a is equal to 3 to the power of n is equal to 3 order is 3 so into determinant of a and determinant of a value so that is 27 times determinant a it is obviously correct okay